What's up guys? Today I'm just going to show you how to make a simple door in 2D top-down style. Um, it kind of piggybacks off of my interaction system. Um, I'll make a separate video for it, but here is shown on the screen for what video I'm talking about. And uh, go ahead and check that out. It's the second half of the video. Super simple. It only takes like five minutes to set up. But yeah, if you have interaction system already to go, let's get to it. Going to right click blueprint class, make an actor. BP door. I'm gonna open it up. So all you need to do here is just add a flipbook. I'm gonna call it door. So I'm gonna bring in the art assets now. So once you import it, right click, apply paper 2D settings. Right click again, sprite actions, extract sprites. So just looking at this, if you don't know the resolution right off the bat, I just do 1 to 11. So you could just do change from auto to grid. So width divided by 11, and now they're perfectly sliced into equal sprite size. Push extract, control S to save. One thing I like to do is change the pivot point. So I'm just gonna do asset actions, bulk edit via property matrix. So once you have all these, pivot mode, change from center center to bottom center. Control S to save. Right click, create flipbook, FB, door, open and then we also want one for when the door is shut so we're going to take the first sprite right click create flipbook fb shut cool so now we have three and we could take a peek at this animation i think that's a decent speed if anything we could bring it down a little bit you just take the sprite and you go to the right side go to source flipbook and then i'm just going to do door shut because it's going to be shut when we walk up to it Rotation, rotate it 270 degrees on the x-axis, compile and save. So now let's add a sphere, sphere collision. So I'm just going to type it collision and then we're going to add the sphere. And we're just going to go over here to the sphere radius and bring it up just a little bit. Actually, we'll keep it about there. What we're doing here is we're making a radius so when your player enters this bubble, you can um, interact with it. So add event, begin overlap, and then we are going to cast to the player. So cast, cast to BP player, plug in your object to your other actor. If you watch my previous video, um, I'll link it up in the card here. We have a widget for interaction and this can be used for any object. So we're just going to add a widget, interact. Widget. And then over on the side, if you do class, you can see widget class. And if you follow my last video, um, and I'll link it, but I show you how to make an interaction interaction system, and it's just WB interact prompt. So go ahead and click that, compile and save. So now, if you compile, you can see that the letters are actually here, and it's. Um, really quick, I'm actually going to scale up the door four times because that's the scale of everything else that's in the game right now. You can have it whatever scale you like. It's not really relevant to this exact video. But So changing the E from 90 degrees on the Y axis and 90 on the Z axis. And you can make it look however you like. This is just for tutorial purposes. So construction script, I'm just going to bring in the widget and do set visibility. So right off the bat, the interaction is not visible. So you don't want to open up your game and have a big E by the door when you're not even near it. So what you could do is just set up your construction script. So right when you place it, so let's go ahead and do that actually. So let's go to content, door, and then let's drag out the actor. As you can see, you cannot see the interaction system because it's enabled by default to be invisible. Perfect. So now let's go to the event graph. Now from cast to BP player, we're just going to grab the interact widget, grab it out, pull out from it and do set visibility. Same thing. And when you come in contact with the sphere, you actually want it to be visible. So it'll appear. And then same thing. Um, click the sphere, right click it, add event, and then add on component and overlap and you'll just grab these control d to duplicate 
connect the cast and then connect the other actor. Okay, and then set the visibility to false. Okay, so let's test it out real quick. Push play. And when we go near the door, you can see the E appear. And that's good. Now when you push E, it doesn't do anything quite yet. And we'll set that up right now. If you followed my last video, you'll see the interaction interface and you have it in your project. You can do that. Um, but go to class settings, interfaces, BP interface. And it's just going to be this top one here. Compile and save. What we are going to do now is open up this interface tab after we implement and we are going to right click interact and do implement events. Once you get the event interact, go ahead and bring out your door, pull out from there and do set looping. We're going to make that false. From there, we're going to do set flipbook. And we are going to set here the flipbook being FB door opening. Drag out from the flipbook, type in flip flop, and this is one way to do it. There's many ways to set up the door, but let's go ahead and bring out our door again and let's do play from start. Since the flipbook is opening and we're going to uh, think of A as opening and B as shutting. So play from start and then grab your door. Pull out from that and then reverse from end. And then connect that to B. Compile and save. You push play. You're going to see that you can walk around. Interact, it opens. Push it again, it shuts. Open again. Closes again. Super, super easy. Just like that. So really quick, I'm just slicing out this piece and I'm going to bring it in. Um, as you can see, when you open the door, obviously the top of the door is not going above your character. And this is just like a bonus tip. Um, you can use the orthographic camera or if you want to keep it perspective for better lighting, what you could do is you can actually import the top of the door and just have it as a separate sprite. Um, so yeah, I'll just extract sprite and I'm not even going to use the grid. I'm just going to extract it as is with the auto feature and we can just go back to the door and go to add and then we could just do sprite because this won't be animated at all. You'll have to do it for flip books if you're doing flip books. But by the way, if you have something selected and you go to an actor and add it, it'll automatically fill in for you, which is super nice. So 270 on the X axis. And so we're just going to put it straight above. So now you can see it's actually blocking the character. So I'm going to bring it up a little bit more and bring it down. There you go. So you can remove the background. Obviously, this is just simple example art, but this is kind of how you would set up a frame um, in perspective mode. Um, by the way, if it floats too much, all you could do is just make your camera a lot farther away from your character. So like my spring arm is absolutely crazy far away and that helps fake the orthographic camera so you can just see a little bit and everything's not so floaty, which is super nice. Uh, but yeah, that's how you open and close the door. Thank you so much. You can join our Discord, ask questions, ask for video tutorial requests. I'm really trying to get together with the 2D community in Unreal and just like work together to make really awesome games. So yeah, just let me know. Um, see you around. Peace, peace.